today we're going to talk about a feature in Ansible called block rescues, which I use all the time in all kinds of different use cases. So let's say we have a playbook. Here's a four task playbook. There's a task, it does something, the second task fails. What happens? What's going to happen is it exits the playbook and then task three and four never actually run. In this case, it's actually by design. Ansible is very predictable. A lot of people prefer that. They don't want this task running, this task failing, and then these two tasks running. And then you get your system into some sort of weird state where it's unclear what happened during automation. So right now, if I run this automation, I do Ansible Navigator run no block is the name of the playbook. And then I'm going to do standard out just so we can see task by task. You can actually see I execute normally. The second task fails and then the playbook ends and it, it exits. Now, there are use cases where there are tasks that you want to run, but they're nice to have, not have to have. Maybe it's trying to update a chat room or do something like to update the status and you just will want to log that and say like, okay, something's wrong with the service, but it's not paramount to the success of this playbook running. So we have this really cool feature called block rescue. Blocks allow us to put multiple tasks in the same little stanza. Now, the cool part, as soon as you use a block, we also have this idea of a rescue. So what will happen is these two tasks will run, the second task will fail, but instead of exiting the playbook and failing immediately, it will go to the rescue stanza and try to run this task. If this task runs, then the playbook will continue on. You could actually fix the error or just log something that says, hey, this API service chat room pager duty, whatever it was, is down. We couldn't reach it, but the playbook's going to continue on. It was nice to have, not have to have. So we can also actually take this one step further is I'll put something outside the block just to illustrate that as soon as the rescue actually runs, we can actually run tasks that are after it and say, hey, this task is outside the block. And then say the playbook continued on successfully. So I'm going to save that. And then this time I'm also going to change my Ansible Navigator settings just as a side note to show you something that I like to do all the time, which is I want to make that mode standard out the default. So I'm going to go ahead and save my configuration here, do Ansible Navigator run block rescue. Oh, I noticed there's a lint here. So I'm going to also put that oops, return. And then I can just press go. And what we're going to see here is task one was successful. Task two failed. So then it went to the rescue. I caught an error here on line 21. It went into the rescue. And then because the rescue worked, this stanza said, okay, we've been able to course correct for this playbook. And then this new task that's separate from the block entirely says the playbook continued on outside the block. So it helps make our playbooks more robust and allows us to design the playbooks. One of the questions I get a lot on block rescues is, can I nest them? Can I have multiple block rescues? And the answer is yes, but think about the code readability. You don't want to have like quadruple nested block rescues and no one can read your code because then you're just started programming at that point and you're not up leveling it, which is what Ansible is good at, not necessarily replacing Python programming. Like you might want to modularize something that gets that complex. Anyways, have a great one.